everyone, it's Tracy at Whirls and Swirls Quilting. Today's design of the day is kind of cool. Here we go. We're gonna do kind of a heart and we're gonna swing it around, but I want you to make sure you leave lots of space because then we're gonna go in and we're gonna do that kind of deal. Okay, so into the heart, leave it open, swing in and swing out. Heart, curl, up into there, and then just follow that out on the angle that that line is. You see, I guess it's kind of like an echo, but not, you know, not really. Swing it in, in, and out. Now, I had a couple of questions the other day on one of the videos that I did. Somebody had asked me about my stitch length and that sort of thing. So for that lady, and I apologize, I, your name's gone out of my head. This is manual mode. That's how I stitch my freehand work. So I don't have the stitch regulator on. On my machine, I have the speed set pretty high and it's a personal thing. So with that, if you want to work in manual mode, have a look at my manual versus stitch regulated mode video. It's on my YouTube channel. And that sort of explains how to come out of stitch regulation and work in a manual mode and choose your speed. There are gonna be different speeds that you're gonna use for different applications and everybody is different. It depends entirely on the speed of your hands and uh, that sort of thing. So I explain that all in that video. Oh, I just realized you probably can't even see what I was just doing there. There we go, let's come up to here. And then, um, yeah, so I like to work in manual mode when I do any kind of freehand work. And then someone else had asked me about filler versus all over design. So this I would consider an all over. It's not small, but it's not large. This could travel. When I call it an all over, what I mean is you can dance across the entire quilt with it. As you would with a pantograph, it's gonna cover the entire quilt with the design in that respect. A filler design is something that's done a lot smaller. Generally, it's quite tight, but not always and that would be done in a confined space. Say the background behind some applique or, uh, you know, a certain negative, just some negative space that you've created in a block with different quilting. The filler design is generally small, generally quite tight, and it fills in the space, adds the texture. It also will mash down the fabric if you want something else to pop up. So it serves a few different purposes. So I hope that answers your question. There, so one more time. We're gonna do this heart, swing it into a curl, come in, flip that in, follow that curve, and pop it out. There, that's fun, isn't it? I like it. We could do this really big. That would look quite good. Okay, so that's today's design of the day. I hope you like it. Take some time to doodle and we will see you tomorrow.